नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम्स यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम टूडे इज ट्वेंटी सेकेंड जून सो ए बी सी टूडे इज हाईलाइट सो वी आर मैंशनिंग दैट हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल विद आइसोलेटेड एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल दैट इज रेनफॉल मोर देन ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर इज वेरी लाइकली अलॉन्ग द बेस्ट कोस्ट इंक्लूडिंग Kerala, coastal and south interior Karnataka, Konkan and Goa, and Ghat areas of Madhya Maharashtra during next four or five days. So we can say that uh, good rainfall activity uh, likely over uh, these states, especially over uh, uh, coastal areas of uh, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, and Kerala. Now, if we see yesterday's realized weather, so mainly heavy to very heavy rainfall reported over. Uh, Uh, Andaman Nicobar Islands, Maya Bandar, and uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall at uh, some places, and isolated extremely heavy rainfall also reported over Konkan and Goa, and uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall over Madhya Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, and heavy rainfall over uh, Lachadip, Kerala, coastal Karnataka, coastal Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, and East Rajasthan. And heavy rainfall also reported over northeast India, including uh, Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, and adjoining areas of Assam and West Bengal and Sikkim. If we see the realized uh, rainfall uh, significant values, so in Ratnagiri, uh, 21 cm, in Lachadip, 12 cm, Andaman, Nicobar, Maya Bandar, 12 cm, East Rajasthan, uh, Jhalawad district, 12 cm, Chhattisgarh. Uh, दुर्ग डिस्ट्रिक्ट रिपोर्ट टेन सेंटीमीटर इन कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश काकीनाडा डिस्ट्रिक्ट रिपोर्ट नाइन सेंटीमीटर इन केरला मलापुरम डिस्ट्रिक्ट रिपोर्ट एट सेंटीमीटर इन सब एंड वेस्ट बंगाल कलिम कलिम्पोंग रिपोर्ट एट सेंटीमीटर इन कोस्टल कर्नाटका उत्तर कन्नाडा रिपोर्ट एट सेंटीमीटर इन मध्य महाराष्ट्र कोल्हापुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट रिपोर्ट सेवन सेंटीमीटर इन तेलंगाना निर्मल डिस्ट्रिक्ट रिपोर्ट एट नाइन सेंटीमीटर इन झारखंड सेम डेगा रिपोर्ट एट सेंटीमीटर सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द सीन एंड रेनफॉल वैल्यूज एंड डिटेल्स आर अवेलेबल एन ऑन अवर वेबसाइट मौसम डॉट आई एम डी डॉट गॉव डॉट इन एंड फेयर रेनफॉल रिलेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन इज अवेलेबल यू कैन रिफर नाउ दीज आर द मैक्सिम टेम्परेचर एंड सो यस्टरडे मैक्सिम टेम्परेचर आर आई दर नॉर्मल और ब्लू नॉर्मल ओवर मोस्ट पार्ट्स ऑफ नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया and uh, as regards other parts of the country so temperature are in the uh, normal range category except some uh, locations of gujarat and uh, uh, south bihar west jharkhand east uttar pradesh south west uttar pradesh where temperatures were above normal by 2 to 4 degrees celsius otherwise uh, no uh, areas where temperature are above normal significantly and uh, accordingly only one station in uh, south west uttar pradesh orai reported uh, uh, heat wave with departure 6.5 degrees celsius in other words we can say that no significant heat wave conditions reported in any parts of the country yesterday as regards monsoon today monsoon is not advanced accordingly yesterday's line is line there and the conditions are further favorable for further advance of the southwest monsoon over uh, uh, some parts of gujarat state uh, remaining parts of maharashtra some more parts of madhya pradesh chatisgarh odisha and native west bengal jharkhand bihar and some parts of east uttar pradesh during next three four days so this is the forecast for advance now these are the synoptic systems prevailing today so there is a cyclone in circulation over north west uttar pradesh and adjoining uh, adjoining haryana region and there is a western disturbance roughly over uh, Uh, roughly over uh, Pakistan region as a trough, and there is a induced cyclone circulation as already mentioned over northwest Uttar Pradesh, and there is a cyclone circulation over southwest Rajasthan. There is a cyclone circulation over interior Odisha and adjoining Chhattisgarh. There is a cyclone circulation over northeast Bihar Bengal and adjoining east central Bihar Bengal. There is a trough runs from east west trough runs from this cyclone circulation over northwest Uttar Pradesh to northeast Bihar Bengal in mean sea level and. At zero point nine kilometer above mean sea level, and there is a there is a trough at mean sea level, level runs from South Maharashtra to North Kerala. There is a cyclone circulation uh, over Southwest Rajasthan, as already mentioned. So under the uh, favorable strong westerly winds over uh, uh, along the west coast, and this uh, this of uh, this uh, trough from South Maharashtra to North Kerala coast conditions are favorable for uh, uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall with isolated extremely heavy rainfall along the west coast as already mentioned in the highlights. Now, if we see five days warning, so today heavy to very heavy rainfall with isolated extremely heavy rainfall is expected. 
over Kerala and coastal Karnataka and south central Karnataka and heavy to very heavy rainfall over Lakshadweep, Tamil Nadu and Konkan and Goa region. Today heavy rainfall also likely over with a strong surface gusty winds of the order of 40 to 50 kmph over western parts of Madhya Pradesh. Accordingly, orange color is also given to western parts of Madhya, Madhya Pradesh. Otherwise, other regions of heavy rainfall, eastern parts of Madhya Pradesh, Vidarva, Chhattisgarh, Odisha and Telangana and adjoining regions including Marathwada likely to experience heavy rainfall today and uh, thunderstorm activity is expected over parts of northwest India including Rajasthan, Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh and Central India including Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha and Chhattisgarh, East India including Bihar, Jharkhand, Gangeti, West Bengal and Odisha region including South Central India as already mentioned with heavy rainfall and thunderstorm activity is expected and today uh, strong surface winds also likely over and one Nicobar Islands. As regards northeast India, so heavy rainfall is expected over today Assam, Bengal, Arunachal Pradesh and over adjoining regions of sub and West Bengal and Sikkim region. More or less same conditions likely to continue on 23rd with isolated extremely heavy rainfall is expected over Konkan Goa in addition to other areas of uh, coastal and south interior Karnataka and Kerala where extremely heavy rainfall likely to continue on 23rd as well and heavy to very heavy rainfall also expected over Gujarati state at isolated locations on 23rd otherwise uh, the regions of uh, Vidarbha, Maratwada, North Central Karnataka where heavy rainfall is expected on 23rd and thunderstorm activity likely to continue over parts of northwest, central, east and northeast India and heavy rainfall likely to continue over somewhere in West Bengal, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh and Samuel uh, West Bengal Sikkim, Assam Meghalaya and Nagaland Vunvurum Tupra on 23rd also. On 24th, heavy to very heavy rainfall with isolated extreme level rainfall likely to continue over Konkan and Goa, Konkan and Goa, coastal Karnataka, South Central Karnataka and Kerala and uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall also likely to continue over Gujarati state on 24th and heavy rainfall is expected on 24th over South East Rajasthan, Uttarakhand, East Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and adjoining regions and heavy rainfall is also expected over uh, to expected to continue over Samal and West Bengal Sikkim, Assam Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh and Tamil Nadu on 24th. On 25th heavy to very heavy rainfall with isolated extremely heavy rainfall uh, with isolated uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall is expected to continue over Konkan and Goa Ghat area of Madhya Maharashtra and Kerala Mahe, coastal and south Indian Karnataka, and heavy rainfall likely to continue over Tamil Nadu, north Indian Karnataka, Bihar, and Jharkhand. On 25th, intense thunderstorm activity with heavy rainfall is expected over Uttarakhand, East Rajasthan, and East Uttar Pradesh, and uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall is expected over somewhere in West Bengal, Sikkim on 25th and heavy rainfall over Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya. On 26th, heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely to continue along the west coast including Konkan and Goa, coastal Karnataka, Kerala and Ghati Raja of Madhya Maharashtra and heavy rainfall is expected over coastal Andhra Pradesh, east Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Bihar, Jharkhand, Gangeti, West Bengal and over uh, southern and west Bengal, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya and thunderstorm activity likely to continue over northwest parts of northwest especially Rajasthan Uttar Pradesh region over central India including Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha, Chhattisgarh region over East India including Bihar, Jharkhand, Gangetri, West Bengal, Odisha region over South West India including Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Kerala on 25th of 26th of June and heavy rainfall is expected over Andaman Nicobar Islands on 25th 24, 25, 26 and also during next two days also. So in Narsal we can say that heavy rainfall likely to continue over Andaman Nicobar Islands during next four or five days. As regards heat wave conditions, so today again southwest Uttar Pradesh likely to experience isolated heat wave today and uh, tomorrow also the same location over southwest Uttar Pradesh but on 24th and 25th again heat wave conditions at isolated pockets likely over Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, Delhi, South, uh, West Uttar Pradesh on 24th and 25th and on 26th of June no heat wave warning has been given.
So in summary, we can say that heavy to very evident fall with isolated extremely evident fall is expected uh, over Kongan Goa, Ghati area of Madhya Maharashtra, coastal and south interior Karnataka, Kerala and Gujarat also during next 4-5 days and uh, uh, no significant heat wave conditions likely over any parts of the country except over south west Uttar Pradesh on, during next 4 days and on 24th and 25th over Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, Delhi. So this is the update. We will update tomorrow. Till then, Namaskar. Jain, Jai Bharat.